Greetings and happy Resurrection Sunday to you. I trust that uh, you uh, will have a wonderful time or you had a wonderful time uh, celebrating the resurrection of Jesus uh, with your local church community, wherever you are, whichever part of the world you are listening to these uh, daily devotionals. And it's our joy to greet you and uh, celebrate Jesus, our risen Savior, together. This week, we want to focus on resurrection power. The Apostle Paul, uh, who received uh, uh, amazing revelation from the Father about God's mystery, God's plan for the ages, what Jesus was doing for and in and through the church, uh, as he wrote these revelations or mysteries that was revealed to him by the Lord in his epistles. Among all of that, we see that Paul is telling us believers that the resurrection power of God is available to us. In Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18 through 20, he says that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. So the Apostle Paul is praying for the believers and he's saying, I want your eyes to be open to understand some things. I want you to understand him, that is God, who called us. I want you to understand the hope of his calling or the future, the purpose to which he's called us. I want you to understand the inheritance, the riches of the inheritance he has for us as his people. And I also want you to understand the greatness of his power towards us who believe, to us who believe. And he says, the power that God has made available for us who believe is the same power that he wrought when he raised Jesus from the dead. That is the resurrection power. So what Paul is telling us that the power of God available to us today is the resurrection power, the same power that raised Jesus up from the dead and made him sit at the right hand of God. That power is available for you and me as believers. God's resurrection power has been made available to you and me. What does this mean? The resurrection power of God is the power that overthrew every enemy of God. You can imagine, uh, although the Bible doesn't state this, you can imagine that Satan and all his demons on that resurrection morning had only one objective. Keep Jesus in the grave. Don't let him rise up. So you can imagine every demonic force was there trying to hold Jesus back. And the resurrection power of God came, raised Jesus up from the dead. The Bible says the glory of the Father, the spirit that raised Jesus up from the dead was there. And all of hell was defeated. And the Bible says that resurrection power is what God is making available to you and me. The power that overthrew every other power on earth and under the earth is the power available for you and me and we need to understand that and that's what we're going to talk about this week as we open our lives to the working of his resurrection power in us for us and through us let's pray father we thank you that our eyes are open to know the exceeding greatness of your power towards us who believe the same power that you wrought in Christ when you raised him from the dead. We receive resurrection power to work in us, to work for us, to work through us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.